Well, October is here. Even for most normal people who don't start celebrating the day after the 4th of July, that means Halloween is now in full swing. And it seems like Halloween gets bigger and bigger every year, doesn't it? And it also seems like as Halloween gets bigger and bigger, it's more and more focused on nostalgia, like these blow molds that they brought back that I showed you a couple of weeks ago, or the vintage Halloween masks that keep popping up everywhere, or the old school Halloween die cuts, the fact that old school horror movies are coming back in the form of collectibles and toys. Wherever you turn, it seems like nostalgia with Halloween is a big deal. Now, when it comes to my own life and Halloween, the first thing I get nostalgic for, the first thing I think of when I think of childhood Halloween are these, the old school, original McDonald's Halloween Boo Buckets, as they've come to be known. Or if you prefer Halloween Pale, Pumpkin Pale, or as I call them, Pumpkin Buckets, they go by many names, but one thing is for sure, in the 1980s, when these things first came out, they were intrinsically linked with little kids like me to Halloween. You see, starting in 1986, and really intended just to be a thing for that one year, these pumpkin pails are what your McDonald's Happy Meal came in. And instead of getting a Happy Meal toy, you would get one of these pumpkin buckets, and the idea was that you would open it up and take it trick-or-treating and put all of your trick-or-treat candy in this thing. The original 1986 run of the Pumpkin Buckets featured three designs, McBoo, McPunkin, and McGoblin. And they ended up being so popular that year in 1986, they brought them back the next year, those original three, for 1987 as well. They then skipped a year, but when the Pumpkin Buckets came back by popular demand in 1989, they were upgraded in a big way, coming in three completely different designs now, with old McGoblin returning to represent the pumpkin, but now a new McGhost and McWitch. Dude, these were a big deal. Halloween 1989, every girl that I grew up with wanted the witch, and some little boys too, of course. I really wanted the ghost, and that is the one that I got. Now, they are awfully small. If you look at them compared to me today, grown up, you can see they're not much bigger than the width of my hand. So, I mean, as I got older, they were pretty impractical for use carrying all the Halloween candy that you would get trick-or-treating around the various neighborhoods in the 1980s. But when I was just a little tyke when they first came out and all the way up into 89 and even into 1990, they were great to put your candy in and then mom or dad would be carrying like a pillowcase or something behind us and we would dump the candy into there and keep on going. Now as far as my family went in the 1980s, going to McDonald's and getting a Happy Meal was still a very big and pretty rare treat, but every October that the pumpkin buckets would come out without fail, my mom would take us through the drive-through, I can remember eagerly waiting to see which bucket we were going to get, and we did actually use them. Not just at Halloween, but afterwards they became useful holders for crayons, for Hot Wheels, for things like that. And maybe the pumpkin buckets are the reason that every Halloween, to this day, I associate Halloween time and fall with the taste of a McDonald's Happy Meal and those chicken nuggets, sweet and sour sauce, I mean, come on. Now in 1990, there were further changes. They swapped out McGoblin for a, another pumpkin face that was basically just McPunkin. The witch got a major facial. She looked completely different, but the biggest change of all was to the ghost, and it was the most exciting change because the original white plastic McGhost got swapped out for a version that glowed in the dark. That's right, a glow in the dark Mick Ghost, and this was my absolute favorite of all the pumpkin buckets. I mean, all throughout my life, I just remembered having those things. It would be years until I was finally reunited with the pumpkin buckets and actually got some later as an adult, but it was a big part of putting Halloween back together. And if we're going for nostalgic Halloween around here, I was very glad to have the pumpkin buckets, and I filmed them a couple of years ago. But the reason I'm dragging them out in front of you guys today. It's not just because of my absolute genuine love for these things, and trust me, it takes very little excuse for me to get these things out and get excited, but it's because this year in 2022, not only are Halloween blow molds seemingly back, but so are the McDonald's pumpkin buckets. At least that's the rumor here in the beginning of October, but it seems to be more and more confirmed as each day passes. Apparently, McDonald's has taken the nostalgia bait and is bringing back the old school 
boo buckets. Now this all started out as Instagram rumor with just pictures of the old school boo buckets and then said returning this Halloween or whatever. It really looked like it was a hoax. And then images of old school looking but slightly different boo buckets started appearing on various Instagram accounts that really seemed to look legit. Like they looked straight out of like a McDonald's catalog of some kind for the vendors or for the different franchisees or something. Clearly the lids in some of these leaked photos are very, very different to the original pumpkin bucket tops. But if you look closely, you can see multiple faces on them. They've really gone old school. Now, a lot of media outlets picked this up. They tried to reach out to McDonald's. They got no comment. But just recently on McDonald's Canada's Twitter, which I don't use, so I don't have the app here, they have posted a video announcing that the Boo Buckets are back and they're even doing a giveaway. And check it out in the Twitter video. At the end, you can see the green and the orange Halloween buckets. And they look exactly like the ones from those earlier leaked photos. Now, I was very hesitant to believe these rumors because rumors like this pop up all the time with the old picture and then a new date. But it seems like finally, McDonald's might be bringing back the best Halloween promotion they ever had, possibly, in the Halloween boo buckets, as they're referring to them now, at least on this official McDonald's Canada Twitter account. Now, I'm very excited about this. I mean, obviously, I have the old school boo buckets, but you'll notice I don't have a lot of the 90s ones when they started to change or get purple or do different designs or different hats. I'm really nostalgic for, obviously, the late 80s and the very early 90s ones with the glowing ghosts and things like that. And that's why these new boo buckets are so exciting to me, because they look just like the old school 1980s, 1989, 90 designs. And if these rumors are true, I hope that McDonald's made a lot of them. Because even people like me, and I have celiac disease now, I can't even eat a Happy Meal. Even people like me are gonna be in line to get some of these. I think, I hope, they haven't underestimated the very great nostalgia and love people have for these buckets here because they are going to be super, super popular. And of course, I'm gonna try to get them all. And that's rare for me right now. I've been trying to save money lately, but here, take my money. Shut up and take my money. I want boo buckets. Now something else must be said about the old school original boo buckets. And that is they were always subject to availability. Every Halloween, you'd go to McDonald's looking for them, but they didn't always have each one. Some McDonald's franchises seem to bring them out later in the Halloween season, like right before Halloween itself, or way earlier in the Halloween season, and then they would run out by Halloween. So there were other Halloween Happy Meal promotions going on between the buckets, during the same years as the buckets, and one of them is also a very great piece of 80s and 90s retro kid Halloween nostalgia and it's been years I've been looking for them. I was looking for a complete set at a good price, which is pretty difficult, but I have finally acquired the missing piece, another missing piece of early 90s Halloween nostalgia from McDonald's, maybe the greatest Happy Meal toy ever invented relating to Halloween. This here is a full box of McNugget Buddies. Or more specifically, Halloween McNugget Buddies. Still sealed in their packages, and don't worry, we're gonna open them today. Now, McNugget Buddies are these. They're little chicken <laughs> McNuggets with faces. And in this case, they've got Halloween costumes. I haven't done as deep a dive into McNugget Buddy history as I have for the pumpkin buckets, but I believe there was some form of McNugget Buddy with little costumes that came out in Happy Meals before this, and then somebody in 1992 had the brilliant idea, wait a minute, Chicken McNuggets in costumes? That's perfect for Halloween. And we got, for the first time, a set of six Halloween McNugget Buddies. Now, as you can see, these ones are sealed. That's how I wanted to get them. I wanted to get a complete sealed set so that I could open them up here. It almost feels like sacrilege, and I would feel bad, except that I never had the whole set of six. I always wanted it, and they're not particularly rare. I mean, they're getting a little pricey these days, but you can pick up a full set still on eBay and various places, sometimes for not too much money. But now that they're all open, behold, the original six McNugget Buddies. They've got Monster McNugget, McNuggula McNugget, Pumpkin McNugget, Mummy McNugget, Witchy McNugget, 
and McBoo McNugget. I feel like today it's hard to understand how exciting little McDonald's themed toys were. But you gotta figure in 1992, you were coming off at least a solid decade of those McDonald Land commercials where all the little fries and McNuggets and burgers, everything was alive in the McDonald's universe. There was even a line of clothes called McKids and you would go into like department stores and find the McKids clothes, you know, with the McDonald's arches and there would be little TV monitors playing McDonald's cartoons and different stuff. So McDonald's was like a lifestyle to kids back then. It seems weird now, now we're more conscious of weight and bad calories and all that kind of stuff, but hey, Back in the 90s, eating sugary cereal every morning and having a happy meal every night would have just made you the coolest kid in the neighborhood. <laughs> Dude, something about this is so awesome. Just that time period and everything, the nostalgia. I feel like I, I certainly never had all six, but I feel like I never even got the ones I wanted. I don't think I ever had the cool Dracula looking one or the Frankenstein one. I feel like I always got the witch or the ghost with the lady's hat or something like that. You know, as a 10 year old or 11 year old little boy, I was like, no, I want the cool one. You know, I want the Dracula one. Now that I'm older though, I appreciate all of them a lot. And I love the way that you can take their costumes off. It'd be pretty difficult to figure out which one was which after taking the costumes off. I think the whole idea is that some of the parts are interchangeable and that kind of adds to the fun of the whole thing. Not that you could really interchange ones like the ghost where it's basically a one piece slip on costume. But these guys were and are super fun. There's something about these toys and you could really play with them as toys too, which is a bonus. I feel like when my son was little, I get him McDonald's Happy Meal toys. They weren't really toys. Like as time went on, there were less and less little figures that you could play with. And other than when they did the Hot Wheels and Barbie thing, they would do that all the time. It feels like a lot of McDonald's toys were like, look at this cool slide whistle, a periscope shaped like a box. And when they did have little toys and figures you could play with, like little Mario figures or Batman figures or something like that, the cardboard Happy Meal box that you would normally get, that little cardboard box, would sometimes be a little environment that you could play in, almost like a little play set or something like that. It was themed to them. And then of course those later got mostly replaced by just the plain old boring McDonald's bag. Sometimes colorful with little activities and oftentimes when I would get London a Happy Meal when he was growing up, it would just be a brown McDonald's bag. Boring. Compare that to this. A Halloween bucket, you could go trick or treating with it. You could put your crayons in it. You could put your McNugget buddies in it. Now we have yet to receive confirmation from the United States McDonald's that the Boo Buckets are coming. At least as of this recording, but it begs the question, if the Boo Buckets are coming back and it looks like they are, you think they'll ever bring back the McNugget Buddies? Kind of strange, because I feel like for years and years, I never heard anything about the McNugget Buddies, and sometimes I half felt like I dreamed them up, you know? But as I was waiting for these guys to show up and getting ready to kind of do this video, I've noticed a few pictures popping up of them on Instagram. They're definitely getting remembered this year. Probably because of the return of the pumpkin buckets. But with characters like McMummy and McNugula and McMonster over here, you'd think that Universal Monster Collectors, which is a big thing, big monster toy collectors out there, would mention these little guys more often, but I've never seen them mentioned. It's like a little hole in the market that they're not realizing, a little prize collectible. Now there are tons of, I'm sure, McDonald's, collectors out there and stuff who know all about the McNugget Buddies. And I believe there are a lot more different ones that are not Halloween related out there. And I think there were several Halloweens after this where they did different costumes, if I'm not mistaken. But for me, it's all about the ones from 1992. Those are the ones that I wanted to get my hands on and I never got the ones I thought were cool back then. I think now today though, even though I do like the Monsters ones, the little pumpkin guy is my favorite. <laughs> Pumpkin, Mc Pumpkin McNugget just has that kind of face. But I know that the uh, McNugget Buddies didn't last long in the old toy bin. Like, you know, when your parents would do a purge and make you throw away toys you didn't play with, they were always the first victims. But I did keep my pumpkin buckets for years, particularly the glow-in-the-dark ghost. I never threw anything glow-in-the-dark away from the Soggies, a little Captain Crunch cereal a toy, to uh, my Batman stuff that glowed in the dark. I had a glow-in-the-dark Batman sweater. That's why still to this day I make glow-in-the-dark pants, I make glow-in-the-dark Halloween merch. I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. And after 32 years, this glow-in-the-dark pumpkin ghost bucket thing still works. 
perfectly well. Oh, there's just something about 80s glow-in-the-dark plastic that is very Halloween to me. Pro tip, if you have glow-in-the-dark stuff, get a little LED uh, flashlight, a little black light flashlight. That is definitely the best way to charge those bad boys up. All right, guys, I am looking forward to the new buckets. Supposedly, they're gonna be out on October 18th, but until then, I'm very glad that you stopped by for a little Random Land show and tell with the old school 80s into the 90s McDonald's Halloween Happy Meal items. We have filmed a lot of haunts this season, and we are going on a trip very soon. I'm actually packing my bags in the other room as we speak for a lot more fall adventures, so stick around, do the subscribe thing, all the stuff down in the description below. You know, there's stuff down there. And I'll see you guys in McDonald land. You've done your duty. You can go home and creep well. <laughs>